So uh, should be fun. We're loaded in, I believe. At least we are. Uh, I am. I'm not sure what you're showing to the people at home, but medals, take it away. <laughs> Well, sporting down in the bottom position of merry-go-round, we've got the blue Terran player representing Team Liquid. It's Bunny. And his opponent up to the top left, the Red Zerg, playing for Team Acer. Just coming off the back of a 2-0 win over Snoop, it's Scarlet. I think this, uh, this small bug that I was having earlier today, like it's only if I'm following your camera, and it only happens on like uh, where normally you have like this small little image which shows what is morphing or what is in production. And I guess that is a small bug with the new game art if somebody yep. else is not using it. I just get these random white squares which makes it look like my video card is dying, which it sort of is, but I guess in this situation it's not really the fault of my video card. All I Anyways, can think is, it, is it the interface you're using, the observer interface? Are you using standard or...? Yeah, I'm using the ESL. I, I switched it up. The last game I was using Game Art, now I'm using the ESL 1.9 uh, alt overlay. But, and it does it for uh, both. That's really interesting. Yeah. But it only uh, like it only does it if I follow your camera. If I just have my own camera, then it shows the small images with the units that are in production. Anyways, medals. This is already a pretty interesting opening by Scarlet. As it's gas first with a pool as follow up, so no hatch first. And you can definitely say that this is a little different. And this is not her standard CVT opening. It isn't. Bunny is playing it very greedy as well. He's gone for a CC first. So this is going to end up being a bit of a sketchy moment for our Terran player here. Scarlet hasn't seen anything to note this. Bunny isn't moving outside of his natural base anytime soon. So now it all comes down. How many links are we going to get? Probably it, eight, it, ten? Yeah, I think quite a few. And I think it's very good that Bunny is not pulling a Marine King Prime over here that decides to go uh, commence the first on the low ground with no wall off. Because if that was the case, then I think uh, this would have been a very difficult game for him already. Uh, we will see. I definitely think that this is uh, the stuff that we were talking about, the stuff that I was sort of predicting. Scarlet just doing things a little differently than she normally would. Uh, that doesn't mean that she can't play a normal game from here, but it's just the small things that are a little different. Uh, that will obviously throw Bunny off a little bit as well. Like just because it's different doesn't necessarily mean it's always worse. Uh, it might just you know, be something that's good ten games in a row, but it doesn't mean that you can't make it work one the one or two times that you try it. So we yeah. will see. Now, interestingly, there's only four lings out here for Scarlet. She stopped there, not producing any more off the back of it. So this is just a little prod. Was quite a cute move with the lings running them out of any vision range of a uh, scouting SCV. I'm gonna try and pick off this worker before the bunker is finished. We'll get it just in time. So already a minuscule amount of damage done, but when you've only committed four lings to it, not a huge problem. It's going in with more though after seeing this CC first. Yep, uh, she's starting to make a few more. Maybe she was just making a few drones before speed was ready, but she could have made more zerglings if she wanted to. Factory is going down, it's halfway down. The zerglings running up the ramp. I think they saw the reactor. Let me just double check that. Scarlet actually getting another SUV there. She also saw the factory more than halfway down, so. Uh, this will all come down to will Bunny mess up or not, you know, if Bunny sends his first two Hellions down. I love that full supply depot wall off, by the way, already in the natural. That's just really smart against the Zerglings that Scarlet produced. And Bunny's already putting himself in a very good position here, because needless to say, all the Zerglings that Scarlet produced and the speed that she researched definitely slows her economy down quite a bit. All you've got to do is look at the work account. It's 23 SCVs to 18 Drones. That's a big lead for Bunny, who is completely safe now with this bunker up and the complete wall. These links aren't going to be getting through anytime <laughs> soon on their own. Uh, albeit they are trying their hardest. There's one ling uh, just yeah. at the back. <laughs> I was like really giggling because this one ling was just like stuck in the main base <laughs> while all of his friends were on the low ground. So he was like, well, and then he ran to the low ground. He's like, all right, guys, I got this side. It's just like <laughs> I'll kill the links on one. And yeah, it's kind of sad. It was like the dolphin that's stuck on the wrong side of the net, you know, that sends us pull down <laughs> in the ocean. Just wants to go back to his family, but he's trapped. It's very sad. That's made me feel really bad for that one zergling now, Roddy. I, I know. I felt kind of. I felt. Uh, I felt a tragedy <laughs> unfolded in front of our eyes. It's I feel like there should be a number I can text to like donate two euros a month <laughs> or something to save the zergling. Um. <laughs> exactly. You know, maybe maybe a new like animation pops up in game. It's like. Uh, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Poor Zerglings. They don't know what they're getting themselves into. Anyway, uh, Bunny adding in the engineering bay, adding in Stim no research now. Got a decent number of Hellions out on the field, but all in all, Bunny's in a beautiful position. He's up in the economy, having those two mules. Scarlet invested a lot to go for those lings and didn't really achieve much with them. So, where does Scarlet go from here, in your opinion? 
Rory? Uh, I'm not exactly sure. Her layer is going to be pretty damn late regardless. He's at least going up to three bases already, so she will have that going for herself, which is kind of nice. That's something that she can work with, but other than that, uh, uh, things are looking a little tricky, that's for sure. Um, like I said, her tag is just very delayed. She w doesn't have a Roach Warn yet. The Hellion count is going up. We're looking at six Hellions now already. And defending against six Hellions with just Zerglings, I think that's something we all have experienced in the past. Things can get a little tricky unless Carla can get a miraculous surround, but Bunny is too good to let it happen. She's only got 10 Lings at the moment as well, which would make getting a surround against this number of Hellions yeah. extremely difficult. So. Unless they're like tucked away in the middle line or yep. something, that of course shouldn't happen. It kind of looked like that for a second, that's why I brought it up. But in a wide open area, obviously I agree with you, there's no way that 10 links are going to surround 6 aliens. I mean, they can try, but <laughs> I think we all know the outcome of that battle. What I find really quite interesting is the fact that Scarlet is just pumping out more drones. Has seen these Hellions. Do you reckon this is maybe a slightly overconfident approach to this? I mean, she has to do something. If she just makes Zerklings, then she will never be able to catch up in this game. So I guess she is just kind of taking a small risk because she knows she has to take a risk. But it's definitely indeed very confident. She is really relying on these queens now and keeping those Hellions at bay. But we're looking at 10 Hellions. It was a 3 Rex follow-up as well. It was 1 Rex Factory, 2 more Rexes. And I believe now we even see Rex number 4 and 5 go down after the starboard is down. Uh, it's going to be really, really difficult for Scarlet to muster out the amount of units that she needs when Bunny is serious about his, uh, his pushing. Now Scarlet is grabbing down the bailing nest and that's going to be quite essential uh, when this follow-up push comes through with these Marines, but it's quite a long way off and already there's not that many speedlings out on the field to invest in the bailings. Spire coming down and the 1-1 one, one upgrades, that's a lot of gas being pumped straight through there. Scarlet hasn't seen anything to give away the fact that there are these Marines coming on over. Is exactly. this Overlord going to be able to see? No, well, it's even, not. Like you said, she really needs those Bailings as soon as possible. A couple of Cuculins have been picked off. These Marines represent a lot of potential DPS. There is Stim as well. They can start Stimming forward. They can start fighting those Queens. And as long as the Bailings don't connect with these uh, Marines, I actually think that this is a battle that Scarlet can't win. But the Bailings are actually getting very close. And no, oh, Marines have to Stim again. Good job there by Bunnik, still keeping it alive though. And I'm afraid in Metals that this one is almost over. I just don't think that he can get the right amount of units out anymore. There's 32 Zerglings in production, but Bunny has just got an overwhelming force here at the moment. Even if the Lings come out, the Marines themselves are going to be a huge issue. Bailing's morphing is going to be very time consuming. There are three coming in from the left hand side. Bunny focuses them oh, down beautifully well though. Yeah. Scarlet is looking to be in a very rough position here. Yeah, beautiful focus fire there that could have gone wrong for Bonnie on more than one occasion, but he's on top of his control, sniped all the bailings, and just like that he will win game number one without really losing too much. Just like we said in the start of the game, you know, after the opening he was in a good position. I love how quickly he dropped those three supply depots on the low ground, that's really important. So he didn't have to worry about silly speedlings running around. That could have really made things tricky and could have put him on the back foot in that game, but it didn't. And